In this video, I'm going to teach you how to scrape data with Excel. In this example, I have live prices attached to a website, and I can just refresh this, and this will refresh my crypto wallet. So let's get started. Scrape data from Excel. I've got tennis ranking page here that I want to take the tennis rankings of the ATP Tour website with. What I can do is I can copy this ATP Tour ranking rankings URL and copy it into Excel. So I'm gonna to go to data, I'm gonna to go to from web, and I'm gonna paste in my URL here. I can press okay, and this will take me to some options. So I can see the document and I can see any tables on that page. So luckily those rankings are in a table. I could see the web view of that table, and I know it's that table I want to take. Two options here, we can load the sheet or we can transform. Most tables will be in bits, so you don't wanna transform them and take only what you need. I'm gonna take a rank here, I'm gonna take the player, and I'm gonna take the points, and that's all I need. And to get them, you just go remove columns, remove other columns, and that'll just leave your three columns there. If you've never seen this before, this is Power Query. I can close and load. I wanna load this to the existing worksheet into this cell, press OK, and there are my tennis rankings. This is an Excel table, so we can go to table design and change the format, and we can do all sorts of other things in here. This is a dynamic link to that website now, so you can refresh this and it'll bring in the new data. But I don't want all the rankings, I just want the top 10. So I'm gonna go in and just select the top 10, and what this will do in Power Query is we'll have the filter in as a selection. So when this gets updated, it'll be updated from the website with just that top 10. So you can see the rank in there in Power Query. So when I reload this table, this will load with just the top 10 rankings, but I don't like the way that's resized my table. So I can go into table, properties, and then untick the adjust column width option. And that means that when the table is refreshed, it's gonna be refreshed with your formats included. Here's another place to refresh the data from, just in the data tab, refresh and click refresh. And this will be refreshed dynamically when you open the worksheet. So just onto our cryptocurrency example here, I've got this site called CoinMarketCap. This, you can see, is updating dynamically, so a good way to test our Excel tables. So I'm gonna put the CoinMarketCap URL in there. Again, this has picked the table, and this looks good. I'm gonna transform this data again, and again, this is another way to select the columns, so I'm gonna collect the name, and I'm gonna just select the price here, and I can right-click, and I can remove other columns and this'll just keep the columns we need. Again, we're gonna filter down to the three cryptos we want. We want Bitcoin, we want Ethereum, and we want XRP. So I'm just gonna keep all of those, press OK. And I can see that this price is in text. When I change it to currency, I get an error, so I need to do some um, parsing on this. So what I can do is I can just turn this back to text then I can go up to transform. Then I have a few options here. I could extract or I could split the column by delimiter. So I'm gonna choose split column by delimiter. I'm gonna use the dollar sign as a delimiter, press okay. And when that dollar sign is gone, then this becomes a number. So I'm gonna get rid of this other split column in here, which is just blank anyway. I can just delete this all together from the top. And then I'm just gonna change the name of the price column to live price. And then I can load this into my cryptocurrency table. So just press close and load here. And here is the live price here. So the beauty of this one is that I have a number of coins in my wallet. I want to multiply that by the live prices. So I'm gonna do that now and I'm just gonna do up the format a bit. And I can go back to the data tab and refresh this. And you can see that this is refreshing in real time. I hope you found this video useful. I'm gonna make a more advanced one. So subscribe to the channel and like this video. And I'll see you very soon for more data scraping tutorials.